Hi, and welcome to another episode of Adtastic. I'm your host, Tony Stanall, and today we're talking with Carrie Peterson of, I'm sorry, Callie. Let's try that again. Let me take Callie. it. Callie. Take it from you. <clears throat> and we're... And we're Hi, and welcome to another episode Sorry, of Ad. Sorry, I interrupted it. I apologize. I was going to count you down. Ready? Sorry. All right, do that. <clears throat> Three, two. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Adtastic. I'm your host, Tony Stanall, and today we're talking with Callie Peterson of the Sage Agency. Welcome, Callie. Thank you, Tony. I'm so happy to be here. So you're all about Google Ads, correct? That is correct. That is my focus. So tell us about how you uh, work with Google Ads for your clients and, and the businesses you work with. Yeah, so um, my main priority is to make sure that my clients are profitable from Google Ads. Uh, it, is, it can be an expensive marketing platform. And so I like to make sure that not only is Google Ads going to be profitable for them, but, but they're in the right space within their business to work with Google Ads. Um, so there's a few things that go into that. Um, primarily, you know, if they have a converting website, if they have an offer that's previously converted and how well it's doing organically before actually spending money on the ads. Gotcha. And what are some of the new developments in, in Google ads? Does um, AI have a role in it, for instance? Yeah, gosh, Tony, that is a loaded question. <laughs> Anyone that is involved with Google ads at all this year knows that there have been huge changes even within the last couple of months. So it's, it's mm -hmm. a fun game to keep up with that. Um, and Google is pushing for a lot more AI involvement. Uh, for example, when you set up your account now, you're actually forced to set up what they call a smart campaign, um, which I don't really think is that smart. It, it's another way of Google uh, getting to have you spend more of your budget. <laughs> Um, but there is definitely a place for AI, and I think all marketers would probably agree that we get to um, figure out what is the best combination of not only AI, but also knowing how the business is running. Um, you know, the problem with AI is that it's all automated, and so it doesn't take into a lot of considerations that someone who is an expert, who is consistently monitoring and optimizing the account would know and take into consideration. So it's a real dance between incorporating it to um, set better targets and better optimization, while also knowing what's best for that client specific business. And, and that's where you come in, I guess, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, well, I mean, it's, uh, we can't get away. Uh, no, go ahead. Uh, finish your statement. I have I have a follow up question. Oh, I, I was just going to say we we can't get away from the AI and machine learning. Um, we just get to figure out a better way to to use it um, for the client's benefit. Gotcha. Um, I deal with candidates all day in in the you know the business I'm in, and I see Google certifications um, that uh, some people have. Who are in the business? What, what's your view on that? Is that is that important for people these days who are in the, in this business? Well, it's um, I'd say yes. I mean, it's it's one step towards what you want when you're looking to hire someone to help you. However, um, you can actually find the answers online, so you don't necessarily have to be an expert to fill in those certifications. But um, it is part of a requirement to be a Google partner, which my agency, we are a preferred Google partner. And that's one of the basic requirements. So if I were a business looking to hire a Google expert and they only say, oh, I'm a, I have these certificates, but they don't really give any other background information, I would push further and see what sort of actual experience they have. Great. Well, that's uh, that's very enlightening. It taught me some things I didn't know. Callie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me.
And thank you for being here for another episode of Adtastic. You could find out more about Callie Peterson on dailyadbrief.com. See you next time.